News 46 is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a pipe bomb is detonated by officials. Commissioner Baraski wants some answers. And CASA has a luau at Lake Spring Mountain. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, September 13th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. A local resident picking up trash located an unusual item yesterday near the highway. What officials are calling a pipe bomb was located yesterday on Bell Vista near Ash Meadows. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Nye County Sheriff's deputies arrived on scene to find what Fire Chief Scott Lewis is calling a low-grade explosive with fireworks attached. The chief says that the explosive was benign in nature. However, the bomb was detonated later in the evening at the location. No suspects have been named at this time. Nye County Sheriff's deputies are investigating. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. County Commissioner Butch Baraski has some concerns regarding VEA's proposed sale of one of their transmission lines for $160 million. VEA is asking members to vote yes on the sale right now. VEA says members can receive a 9.9% rate reduction, rates stability, a cash payment, and more. The co-op is urging members to contact them to find out more. That transmission line belongs to the members of the co-op. All of the clear blue sky, now all of a sudden they're saying, well, we'll give you 500 some dollars if you, if you agree to the sale or something. It's, to me, that's a bribe. That line should stay in our possession. We paid for that. Once we give that away, they're going to turn around whoever owns it and back charge us for using that line. So there's a lot of questions I could not get answered over there today. You know, what that cost of uh, remodeling or, or redoing the building over there and adding on to it. Nobody seemed to have any information for that. And there's another question that doesn't get answered is why do we have a Valley Electric building in Las Vegas along 215? Yeah, all I know is in the, in the last year or so I've seen the name on the building. Uh, it's really close to where uh, Senator Heller has his uh, Las Vegas office. Just last year, people picked up on that the sign was on the building. So mm -hmm. I don't know who built it, when they built it. All I know is I've got a question is why do we have one in Las Vegas? And 42-year-old Rick Henriksen and 37-year-old Marissa Weatherholt have been arrested and charged with burglary, possession of a stolen vehicle, and various other crimes after police responded to an address at 1420 West Hardy Lane in reference to a residential burglary in progress. Upon arrival, deputies made contact with multiple witnesses as well as a female who had various items in her arms, later to be identified as Mrs. Marissa Weatherholt. Deputies conducted investigation, finding that Weatherholt Holt was found inside the residence by an elderly male who was the caretaker of the property on Hardy Lane. Deputies spoke with Weather Holt, who admitted to taking the items from inside the home, according to the report. Through further investigation, deputies say that there was forced entry through the back door of the residence. Deputies were informed by witnesses that there was also a male with Weather Holt wearing dark clothes who fled the area in a gray sedan. Deputies were directed to an address on Dyer Street and located Rick Hendrickson, who fled on foot. A short foot pursuit ensued, ending with Mr. Hendrickson being taken into custody by deputies. The vehicle Hendrickson was driving was reported stolen out of Pahrump, according to police. The Nye County Sheriff's deputies responded to a sexual offense in progress at Walmart last week for a report of a Hispanic male who was later identified as Matthew Inslee. 
Inslee was allegedly walking around with his genitalia out, masturbating, following young females around the store. Deputies watched surveillance footage and confirmed the allegations against Inslee. Deputies then made contact with the suspect and noticed that his genitalia was erect. Deputies questioned Inslee about his actions and the suspect confirmed his inappropriate actions. Inslee was placed into the custody of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. And News 46 will return right after this break.